Hey everybody, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be the winner's match from Hasu League Group A round of 16. Season 11, Mars, that cheesy mofo, is going to be starting at the 4 o'clock position. This is on Demonia or Blue Bombastic Demon, something like that. It's a BSL particular map, 12 o'clock position. We have Son as the green Terran. And I should also report that Father withdrew at this point, so it looks like there is going to be an auto rematch from the loser's bracket. So space still has a shot. So the winner of this will go play, or the loser of this will push forward and play in the final match. So they still have a shot, so it's not elimination yet, but whoever wins this is going to advance. And I don't know what to call this format. Some people are saying, oh, it's common format, or it's MSL format, or it's round robin. Anyway, it'd be nice if we actually had like a in particular name for each of these tournament formats. But anyway, in the meantime, we have a supply depot being built inside base from both players. So it looks like this is, at least to start off with, not going to be a straight off cheese from either player. And they're just going to... It, at the beginning, I was wondering if Mars is going to shoot out another SCV or something along those lines. In this matchup, I'm almost going to favor Sone seeing the last... Because, I don't know, we'll see. Anything can happen with Mars... I have to say. So it's going to, because obviously thus far we've seen more cheesy play out of Mars. He's going to open barracks. Looks like we are also seeing positional barracks from Sone. And the one thing, having a less standard map, one that tends not to get practiced often on the ladder, and where really you would need particular practice partners, and where it looks like he's plopping down a gas, so going for more, it looks like both players plopping out. So basically both players mirroring build orders at this stage, which means it might come down to micromanagement. Initial SCV scout from Mars moving across the map, and there I can click it so we can get the follow. That is going to give a slight economic advantage to Sone, but obviously the informational disadvantage overall. This is a very late SCV scout, by the way, from Sone, and that actually, particularly against an opponent like Mars, could be really dangerous. First Marine being built opposite corner. Anyway, on these sort of maps where there's just a lot that can, there's a lot that's unknown, where you just don't play it over and over again. It's not a blue storm. It's not a python. It's not a fighting spirit. It's not one of these maps that's just been played over and over and over again. It's kind of the long historic map. Marines actually pushing forward to, it looks like, to block that SCV scout. And it looks like a factory a little bit behind again because of that SCV delay comparatively. But still going to get plenty of scouting information. Going to go in, going to see that single SCV on gas, which suggests more of a macro-oriented build uh, from Mars. Although it looks like he started to build Marine and canceled it. He's pushed that. That SCV is going to uh, come right back out. In the opposite corner, also lots of information for Mars. He's going to scoot out of that base. Second Marine being built for Sohn. So it's possible we're going to see a little bit more of a... Yeah, and actually Sohn's sticking three SCV on gas. So we're seeing two factory being plopped down. And I think Mars has to know this is coming. But he is in fact going... So rather than going for more defensive posture, he is going to plop down a command center. And this is going to be very difficult to defend now. Machine shop down, and we'll see if it's more of a vulture heavy build or if it's more of a tank heavy build. It is possible that without ramp, actually, I really like vultures on this map, and I kind of want to see it because this is a wide open natural expansion with a lot of territory to cover. And if only Marines are trying to defend this, and you can see, I, I feel like Sone is. Here, Mar Mars is like cutting corners a little bit, building fewer Marines. It looks like he did manage to get an SCV kill. He, he does have a single Vulture that looks like it's going to press out. But keep in mind, and it looks like a first tank being built. No upgrade. So, no, we are seeing Spider Mine. So, it's going to be a single tank, a couple Vultures, and I'm almost curious if we're going to see, I don't know, about a six or seven minute timing attack attempt from Sone here, where we've got Vultures and tanks with those three Marines pushing out and attacking this natural expansion. And Mars, with just sitting back with no fact, no machine shop, keep in mind. So he's not going to have any sort of upgrade for the vultures. It's going to be, and also I think he's going to be going up against inferior numbers, two factories to just one. It is going to be really hard to deal with. And actually, it's going to be a four minute. So we're going to have reinforcements coming out in the form of vultures with mines. So rather than speed mines, so they are going to be slow coming across this map. But that is a single siege tank, three marines, a single SCV. That barracks. Fortunately for Mars, he's going to be able to see this coming. But he sank a lot of resources into this command center. And this is still just three vultures, a single marine. And he has no high ground ramp to work with for part of defense. And this is where I feel like Sone is maybe a little bit more prepared. That marine, that tank 
working on the Marine first. SCV's pulling off the line. Let's see if they can get some damage done. That tank has been surrounded, and that is the big critical piece because that is the one thing that does immense amount of damage. More vultures from the corner. More coming across the map to reinforce. Those SCVs are sitting on top of the tank, but not quite able to get on top of it. All the vultures are taken care of. The SCVs are getting wiped out. The Marine was taken out, but this is only a single vulture and, what, three Marines to defend? And this is going to be a dead natural expansion for Mars, and that is going to set him far economically behind. Plus, mines have finished, and it looks like... I'm not sure that mines are really going to make that big of a difference, though. And honestly, might be a liability that might be one way Mars could sneak back into this match. If he could get a unit on the ground that would trigger those mines and do a mine drag into his opponent. Unfortunately, he does not have a marine, it looks like, being produced or anything else of that type. Plus, speed's being upgraded, and that's going to be GG. Yeah, just too much, too quickly uh, for Sone. And I feel like Sone, I think this is one of those map preparation things. Looking at the lack of high ground... Uh, just realizing that this would be a powerful build and also just disadvantageous for Mars uh, building that natural expansion. But we are, so we are going to, Mars isn't out of it yet. He's going to go to the losers match. He's going to play space. That should be an interest, or sorry, this is best of three. So we got another match uh, between these two and then we'll see <laughs> how it goes from there. Getting ahead of myself. So we'll move on to the, to game two of the winner's match. Need to keep track of the actual format of the tournament. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Thanks for listening.